Hey folks, welcome to a special edition of Market Technical Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com on this Sunday, March 16th evening, uh, 2008. Well, normally we don't do these weekend special updates, guys, but ultimately when there's big news events or big big happenings out there, we have to get it out to our uh, our, our viewers and our, uh, our fans out there and our, our followers. And it's very important that we keep all up to date and we understand where the market's headed. And uh, so usually when there's, when there's big events like this, we'll, we'll, we will try and do a special update if we have the chance. Now, ultimately, what's going on? Uh, we have seen the futures dump out hard here Sunday evening and uh, Asia's getting smacked. We all knew Asia would get smacked. We mentioned that on Friday in the video um, based on the fall and Bear Stearns getting hammered. But this is what happened. And I'm going to bring up the uh, intraday futures because the futures obviously are trading. And we're going to look at the intraday M8 contract, which is the uh, June 08 contract on the E-minis on the 10-minute. And we can go over this right here. And let me bring up my trend tools, although I don't need to use them quite as much. Now, what we have going on here, guys, is, is simple and plain. You had the futures opening up tonight. And ultimately, you had the Fed cutting the discount rate, uh, which is the lending, intrabank lending, not the lending to individuals, which would be the Fed funds rate, but the discount rate itself uh, by a quarter point. Um, now, the hope in that was that it frees up more liquidity. These banks actually start lending to each other because they're not lending. And ultimately, you saw the futures get a nice spike up here, no doubt about the spike. But then Bear Stearns had some news, and this news was, I, you know, you almost you don't realize how bad the situation is out there guys until something like this happens bear stearns got bought out for two dollars a share by jp morgan unbelievable i mean that's essentially what you've got going on here bear stearns which was down 50 percent from on friday to about 30 dollars a share is getting bought out for two dollars a share unbelievable i mean uh, <laughs> you, you almost just sit here and say wow i mean you, you know things must be horrible if, if you're telling me it's, it's down from $175 12 months ago or less than 12 months ago to, to now a buyout at $2, and this is one of the largest financial institutions, the large financial institutions in the United States here, um, it's, it wasn't, it's not quite as considered as big as Goldman Sachs out there and a couple of the other ones, but it's right up there, folks. And for it to have this type of news event, um, a buyout, uh, it's Fed backed too. I mean, there's no doubt about it that the Fed's involved here. Obviously, the Fed came out and did the discount rate cut, and we fully expect more more stuff going on. So now it becomes very interesting over the next few days, guys. All right, we do have the futures down 25 points on the SP S and P here. The minis are down 25 points. You got the Dow futures down almost 200 here at least. And I'll get you guys uh, excuse that. I'll get you guys a new uh, print on that shortly. But ultimately. You have the futures down quite a bit, and we'll check on those now. Let's check on those here. Okay, and you have the Dow futures down 202 points right now. The S&P futures, as we mentioned, down 27 now about, and the NASDAQ futures down about 35. So we're down about 2% across the board, and uh, financial stocks will get hammered to them tomorrow at the open, it looks like, unless something's announced. Now, you guys know the cautious nature uh, we handle here. We, we have been around for years. We've seen tons of craziness in this market, and that leads us to be very cautious. It's easy to say the market's going to open much lower tomorrow, and it probably will. But you have, as we always say, you have the government out there, you have the Federal Reserve out there, you have other candidates out there that can move the market by just saying some words. All the Fed has to say is, we're going to do this, or the government says, we're going to do that. And all of a sudden, you see a massive reversal. So while the market is looking very negative at this moment, and we do expect a gap down tomorrow, there's no doubt about I mean, I, I would be shocked if the market turns around. It would have to be on some news like that. So as of this time, we have to assume the futures will open lower. Uh, right around those January lows or below. So watch for that, all right, guys? That becomes a new technical point, and I want to just break that out in the chart. And we have the weekly up here, so I want to bring up the daily for everyone to take a look at. Okay, let's do a little daily action here. So now you're talking about this level approximately on the futures, or you could just go with the lows from that other move down, which is approximately here. So it looks like we will uh, probably get down near that area, if not a little lower, and we'll have to analyze that as we go. Now again, the question becomes, we've seen this multiple times. We've seen a gap down, massive gap downs in the market, just like here. Here we had a major gap down as panic filled the market, but then we got a huge bounce after that. So it gapped down and it pushed up. And a lot of times we see the opposite. We see the gap up and the roll over. So it, it brings in a whole avenue of things where as traders, you just have to be about your wits. you got to be on point all day long here, whether you're an intraday player, whether you're a swing trader, uh, because you just know that the Fed is lurking, the government's lurking. You know these intraday moves because ultimately it's options expiration week. 
on Thursday because Friday's closed. And also you have the Fed Fed meeting Tuesday. You got Goldman Sachs reporting earnings on Tuesday. There's just so much going on out there that, that I, I do preach continued extreme caution. And I, I you know if, if we had risk levels, you'd be at ultraviolet red right now. Um, as to being careful trading this market or attempting to trade. Uh, I know traders, as I mentioned in the Friday's video, that picked up Bear Stearns in the $50 range, thinking, and these are guys with 20 years experience. So it goes to show you that, it, and no one's immune out there, you gotta just play cautious, and obviously it's looking more and more like the continued position of cash is, is probably king right now. But there are gonna be buys, there are gonna be shorts available in the market, it's just a matter of being safe and doing the right thing. Ultimately, if you're not an experienced trader uh, with lots of experience, I would have to go on the cautious side and say, you know, it's better just to sit this market out. In fact, I'm doing very little trading while this has been going on, which happens to be the greatest thing I've ever, you know, <laughs> you talk about situations like that, and ultimately, it's probably one of the best decisions I've made to trade very lightly in this environment because the market's down huge percentage-wise, and I'm essentially, you know, he's staying in cash. Uh, which is fine, you know. Granted, the dollar's gotten very weak, but you know that uh, that is a you know a small price to pay for being in cash instead of being in this market fully exposed. While every day it seems another financial firm looks like it's going to get hammered. So again, Bear Stearns, and I'll bring up the chart here. Look at the fall on Friday down to a close of thirty dollars, uh, getting bought out by J.P. Morgan for two dollars a share. And I'll just bring that uh, that news story into focus here, folks. So again, there it is listed right on top of Yahoo right here. J.P. Morgan to buy Bear for two dollars a share. J.P. Morgan Chase said Sunday it will acquire rival Bear Stearns for a bargain base $236.2 million or $2 a share. Um, unbelievable, guys. You know, there's, there's no words that I can fully describe to you what we're seeing here. And the question has to be asked now, who's next? Because you know it's not that simple. You know Bear Stearns is not the only one in major issues. And many of us would say, well, doesn't that mean the market's going to really come down even more hard? And that, and listen, in the near term, it's very possible. You know, we're going to have to see. Um, I'm always careful, as you guys know. We're always very careful in options X week because you know it's, it's going to be a whipsaw week where the vile, a wild moves up and down. And uh, it's ultimately the world uh, trader's worst nightmare because it's just so erratic. You like to be able to go off the technicals or, the, or those of you that trade fundamentals. We, we focus on technicals, believing in them more than anything. But uh, either way, a lot of that in the whipsaw uh, options X market can go out right out the window. So in any case, Bear Stearns chart here, right here, you can see the fall it's had. Uh, just going back to uh, January here, you had it at $80 a share. Now buy out for $2. Uh, it's enough for tonight, guys. I don't want to overburden, but keep in mind, uh, it could go either way. It looks like right now the future's down 27 points on the uh, E-minis. Um, we could go either way, and we have to wait to tomorrow, and we'll have to see where the market opens, then do our analysis. Come join the chat room. Come join the swing trades, trade alerts, as we always say. But be ready for a volatile week. All right, guys? As we always say, the charts tell the truth. Keep that in mind. Companies do not always tell the truth, and that's the, the thing we always have to remember. And I sh am shocked, to be honest. Bear Stearns had a, co a conference call uh, at 1230 to discuss what was going on on Friday. And they didn't even mention anything. So it goes to show you uh, that you just never can trust these companies. Use the technicals. This chart is a broken chart right here and a falling knife. And we always talk about staying away from those falling knives. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow morning in the chat, those of you that join us. Other than that, have a be safe this week, guys. I truly preach your safety first. It's not a market for the faint of heart. Take care.